Hey everybody, how's it going? Jerry55 here, and in case anybody asks, this game is called Super Cloud Build. It is a fun game. I'm going to be talking about that in another video. But today's video, I want to talk to you guys about this console generation. In a couple of months, it will be three years since the Xbox One and the PS4 has been out. And yes, it's been that long. I can't even believe it. I think I had the PS4 the very first day because I had to get it. And the first thing I did, yes, I know. It's, I'm like, people were saying, oh, you go to Pornhub. And what did I do? I was saying Pornhub and it actually worked. I'm like, yes. And then I went to the party chat with my friend with the crappy head headset that Sony gave out day one. It, it worked, but it was so damn crappy. But anyways, I want to talk to you guys about the PS4 and Xbox One. Are you guys really, like, impressed? buy it and by that I mean like all the games that came out all the features that it had the total different changes that came out so on and so forth so let's just, let me talk to you guys about a few things and a few of those things and I'll give you guys my opinion on whether or not I'm impressed or I should have waited or all that stuff so like I said I got my got the PS4 day one and there was like some things that I was impressed by it the party chat which I know is is already a feature on Xbox 360, Xbox One, of course. The new controllers did feel good, and the speakers and the controllers, I was like, wow, it's actually really good. I actually was impressed by that, and it's also the game that, that came out for both systems. I didn't have an Xbox One, I got as a gift, I think about a year later, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not too sure when exactly I got it, but I know I didn't get the Xbox One day one. I got the PS4 day one. And the game and all the I remember the games came out with like sports games that came out Call of Duty. And I remember the first game I uh, officially bought from PS4 before the system came out was Killzone Shadowfall. And boy, I still have that game day, since that day. It's the only game I would never trade it because it just felt like that was my first game. But there is some good things about PS4. Some annoying things that I like still don't like about PS4 is that it took a while for them to, to um, get external hard drive support. Even though I don't, I don't use external hard drive, it just takes a while. I believe they said they wasn't going to do that or something. I, I don't know. The other thing is that the number of apps on the PS4 is just like really small. And if you do get more apps, we don't even get notified. The PS bloggers need to tell us. Like, you have to actually just go to the app section and look at the, what the newest one is. Because it took me, like, I guess, like, what is it, three weeks to even realize he had a weather app? I'm like, oh, God, a weather app? See, that's at times, it's not be want to check my phone or a laptop. Look at the PS4. Look at the weather app. But other stuff on there. And this part, I suck at it. Because I was trying to, I was supposed to climb at the right time. Took me numerous deaths to get it right, even though I already did this level. There's also another thing that that bothered me with this generation with PS4 is the delays, the amount of delays for a lot of their games. Because I know it's supposed to be some of the games come out already. They're saying like, "Oh, we got delayed. Oh, we got delayed. We got delayed." And that just ruined the fun and the hype for some of the games. But I think they think the hype for the games return. Forgot exactly which game it was, which was a long time ago. But they say they learned from their mistakes and haven't announced a game unless it's like close to release date, which basically what Bethesda does. It's like, okay, game comes out three months or it's for sure coming out this year, it's gonna announce a release date for it. For Xbox, well, there is, of course, the cancel scale bound. That was a really big upset for me. They switched from having a force to connect and say, oh, it's required to connect. connect. And they got basically got rid of it. They say they don't say the old connect is still a feature for me. This is really the connect is dead. I still probably want to connect because I don't I need a camera. But I'm still thinking about it. But it's okay on PC. There is the Xbox Play Anywhere. That's like that is the feature that changed in here. So you both PC and Xbox users can play play together. I believe they need cross play on that. It's cross by, meaning is that let's just say Halo, like next Halo game or four to seven comes out. You buy a digital lead for Xbox One, get a digital lead for PC, and stuff like that. But with all that in mind, 
you guys, you guys think that you, you should have, like, if you were that bought the consoles day one, you think you should have got the consoles day one? You think you should have waited or the people that waited? You think you got to wait at the right time and all that? I feel like I already knew what I would get myself into. I just didn't. Like, I knew it was going to be a struggle at first. I wasn't upset at all by it. I'm not going to, not going to be like, oh, they should have just, like, I should have waited a year or a year and a half for, for them to fix all their problems with the consoles or they may change some stuff. I, I knew I was going to get into it. So I'm not disappointed at about it at all. Even though I know there is some other people that are saying like, oh, you know, they, like, I should have just waited or it should have had, like, I didn't know the game could be that much of a big install base, like 50 gigabytes. Probably could have waited longer for a better PS4 or a better Xbox One just to have more space into it. Just let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. You guys happy with the generation thing? Is like too many remastered games for it? Or it's like there is, it's like you want backwards compatibility. For some people, that's a big thing for me. I just don't really care because I didn't buy my console for to play old games. That's just me. But that is it for this video, guys. Like I said, you guys happy with this generation? This generation, this generation so far. Like I said, it's earlier in the video, it's only it's only been about almost three years exactly. So there's not that much history, not that much um these years passed by to say compared to like oh PS3 and Xbox you had a bigger library. Well, of course they've been out for longer. Yeah, or stuff like that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So thank you for this video, guys. This, this game Super Cloud Build. I believe it's on Xbox One and PS4. I know for that it's PS4. It's kind of late in the morning. Kind of late for me to record this video. I don't remember off the top of my head. Just um, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Follow me on twi Twitch. Twitch. Zachary85. All these links in the description below. Follow me on Twitter also. So thank you guys for watching, and until next time, stay safe and happy gaming.